Have you ever wondered how we locate points on a map or in mathematics? Today, let's explore the Cartesian coordinate plane. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the introduction to Cartesian coordinate plane. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are terminologies that we need to remember when it comes to Cartesian coordinate plane. Let's start with the coordinate plane. Coordinate plane is a two-dimensional plane formed by two number lines that intersect at right angles. And for you to visualize what it looks like, this one is an example of a coordinate plane. Now, this is the vertical line and this is the horizontal line. Next, we have the x-axis. What is the x-axis? x-axis is the horizontal line or horizontal number line in a Cartesian coordinate plane. And this one, we have here the x-axis. As you can see, the x-axis is a number line that is composed of positive numbers and negative numbers and here in the middle is the zero. So we are done with the x-axis. This is the horizontal line. If we have the horizontal line as the x-axis, we have here the y-axis as the vertical line. As you can see, if this is your x-axis, this will be your y-axis. Same structure, but only vertical. We have here the positive numbers at the upper part of the y-axis, and the negative numbers at the lower part, and at the middle, we have zero. And that goes the fourth terminology, which is the origin. This is the center of the Cartesian coordinate plane. It is also the place where both the x and y axis meet. And for you to remember, since this one is the center, and as you can see, this one is the intersection of the two axes, the coordinates or the exact location of the origin is located at 0, 0. The 0, 0 is the exact location of the origin. Okay, guys? And let me plot where is the exact location of the origin. Here's the exact location of the origin. Again, this one is 0, 0. Now let's move on with the fifth terminology. We have the quadrants. For the quadrants, this plane or this Cartesian coordinate plane, as you can see, we have two axes, and by the intersection of this axis, the x and y axis, it has formed four different parts, or which is called as the quadrants. One, two, three, and four. And namely, this first part of the quadrant is quadrant number one. And always remember that in quadrant number one, the signs of the coordinates are positive, comma, positive. Let, let, later on, I will explain what is a coordinate. Next, for the second one, we have here this part. We have here quadrant number two. So what about the signs of the coordinates and their quadrant number two? The signs are negative, comma, positive. Sir, where did you get positive and positive and negative, comma, positive? So as you can see, we have here numbers. These are the numbers surrounding the quadrant number one. These are positive numbers, positive numbers. And here we have here the negative numbers and 
the positive numbers. And as you can see, I am moving counterclockwise to number or to name each quadrant. If this is one, if this is quadrant number two, therefore, this is quadrant number three. And what about the science of its coordinates? As you can see, the numbers here are negative. The numbers here are also negative, meaning the coordinates has the sign of negative comma negative. Let us proceed with the fourth quadrant. This one's definitely quadrant number four, or the fourth quadrant. So as for the sign of its coordinates, we have your positive and negative, meaning this is positive, comma, negative. So we are good with the quadrants. This is the four parts of the Cartesian coordinate plane. Now, what about the ordered pairs? Now listen carefully. Earlier, I asked you, have you ever wondered how we locate points? This ordered pairs represents the coordinates of the specific point you want to point out in a given coordinate plane. Example, here, in our origin, its coordinates are 0, 0. This is the ordered pair. Now, as for the ordered pair, always remember that these numbers are represented by letters. We have x, comma, y. This x is for the x-coordinate, y is for the y-coordinate. Now, we have here examples of it. An example, we have 2, 4. This is your x-coordinate, and this is your y-coordinate. This is your x-coordinate, this is your y-coordinate. Meaning, the first number that appears in the ordered pairs is your x, and this is your y. And let me tell you how to plot this one. And later on, in the next part of the video, or in the next video, I will explain how are we going to plot this ordered pairs or these coordinates. Let's start with 2, 4. To plot 2, 4, as you can see, we have here 2, 4. What you're going to do is that you will plot this. Look, this is the x coordinate. You will see that this one is positive and this one is also positive, meaning this point is exactly located at the first quadrant. Now, how do we plot this? Since your x coordinate is 2, you will start here from the origin and you will move here 1 and 2 in your x axis, since this one is your x. Now, what about the y axis, sir? You have your y coordinate as 4, since we started here from the origin 1 and 2, you're not going here and go up here in your y-axis. You will start here. You have four units, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And as you can see, this is the exact location of your ordered pair, which is 2, 4. So again, this point is aligned with 2 in the x-axis, this point is aligned in 4 in the y-axis. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any requests or any question about mathematics, feel free to comment down below. So guys, if you're new to my, cha <coughs> so guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated on the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!